Welcome back to you. It's Wednesday. I've got a great question to share with you today. Have you ever been driving down the freeway and missed an exit? Missed two, three, gotten five miles down the road before you even realized that you had missed the exit. What happened, right? No idea, complete disbelief, followed by frustration, then anger, then anxiety. Where am I? How am I gonna get back on track? Does any of this sound familiar? For a lot of folks, you know, missing one exit, sure, it happens every now and again. Right? What I'm curious about though was that initial emotional response when you recognize the fact that you had missed it. Okay? For most folks, it's not necessarily a positive. Right? It's that anxiety and frustration. It's something, now we're off course, how are we gonna get back on? The next thing that I'm curious about is how long does it take you to get back to the positive? Right? To get back to the point where you're, you're wanting to take action that's gonna get you back on course. The connection here to the middle school years is that kids are coming to us as parents with questions, with comments, with, that kind of throw us off course, right? Even get us to the point of an argument at times. Those questions like, why can't I just go to the movies with my group of friends? Why can't I just clean up my room later after I get back? Right? What are those common questions? So I want you to roll with me on this one for a little bit. Push the pause button on your computer just long enough for yourself to go and get a piece of eight and a half by 11, something with lines. If you don't have a full piece, it's fine. All right, when you come back, give you a second, go get the piece of paper. When you come back, then a simple trifold, just one, two, three sections. Teachers will recognize this as the burrito fold. At the top of each of the three columns, I would like you to put a label. First column, questions. Second, usual responses. Third, what I want to try. Now, top five questions that your kids come to you with that kind of throw you into that emotional frenzy. Maybe it is the, why can't I just, and then you, know, you fill in the blank, or why do I have to? What are those things that could lead you to an argument, or maybe have, in fact, in the past? Now, second column, your typical response, because I said so, Right? That's not the way we do it in this family. Right? Those questions that don't necessarily bring you to a resolution, but deeper than that, don't get you back to a positive emotional state. What is it that you've tried that may not be working? Okay? Now, third column, what is it that you wanna try or do differently? Maybe even say, what is that initial response that you wanna give that you feel like is gonna be able to bring you back to the positive emotional state, lead you away from the argument? All right. Now, real quick example for you. Let's go with the, why can't I just go to the movies again with my friends this weekend? Okay. Typical response that maybe you've given, that a lot of parents have given me during conferences and I'm speaking to the group, I ask the same question. A lot of the typical response is because I said so, right? Because you went last weekend. And then what happens? Same question over and over and over again from your child, but why can't I? And they feel like if they ask it enough times, they wear you down, they keep you in that conversation, right? They're like the person on the other line of the sales call. If they can keep you on the call long enough, you're gonna buy it. So something new to try, preface the statement with something like this. I'm gonna say this one time and then I'm gonna walk away, okay? Now what you say might not be any different. So the full statement, I'm gonna say this one time and then I'm gonna walk away. That's not the way we do things in this family. And then you get up and you walk away, okay? You go in your room, you shut the door if they follow you, if you need to, all right? But maybe just a little something that you're gonna preface your statement with that gives you and your child the opportunity to be able to say what you mean and mean what you say. And really that's the bottom line, folks. They have to know that when you say something, you're gonna say it one time, some things are not open to discussion, and then you're gonna move on. All right, so that is the challenge for you today. Five questions, what are your typical responses, what are you gonna do differently the next time? All right, love to hear from you, let me know how this works out. All right, have a wonderful Wednesday, take care.